All right, today we're going to be testing out this little old turbine fan, a wind generator. I uh, bought the motor and it came with some uh, red blades. I'll show those to you here shortly. But man, those things wouldn't even spin at all, hardly. Uh, they just sat there and barely turned around. So I got these five blades of another wind generator I bought out of China. And I just temporarily mounted them to that pole you see on the back of my truck attached to my, my receiver. Now it's fixed in one location. So, you know, we're gonna have to deal with wind coming from one direction. And then I just got it wired up, running down there. It's going down the back of the truck through that little brown wire. It runs over here to a jumper, which ties my other two to my cables probes on my tester and then I got a Klein Tools MM300 tester and I got it set to volts. Now I'm not going to bore you very long with what it's actually doing but I'm going to show you hopefully what it's putting out. Okay see it's turning pretty good right now. And I might turn it a little more towards the east to see if it makes any difference. Getting close that blade kind of scares me. Let's see what happens there. If that doesn't do any good, then we're going to turn it more back towards the southeast. The wind almost uh, dropped to zero. We're in South Texas, so you know how the wind is down here, it's sporadic. It's like a crazy woman on steroids. So let me change it again. When it's really spinning, you'll hear it zipping, man. It's just whistling like a jam jet engine. Now I've had it up to as much as 9.97 volts. You got a good puff there coming in. You could probably hear the noise in the background. There we go. Got, got some stuff happening. When it does that, it'll get up there close to that, almost 10 volts. And it's got some kind of regulator or controller built inside of it. So I'm assuming that that uh, will shut out once it gets above 10 volts. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten it any higher. Well, guys, thumbs up, like, subscribe. We're going to do some more testing with it. We're going to get a tail on the end of it where it can kind of spin around and put it on a, some kind of stand where it'll rotate by itself. You can hear it take off that time. That's 7.9. So if you can get a consistent six or seven volts out of it, overall average, it'll charge up something. Maybe not a whole lot, but it, in the event you don't have any electricity running on a battery, you don't have much sun, at least you got some wind to charge up a battery or two with it. Well, thumbs up, like, and subscribe, guys. See you next video.